What's good? Night Rider Fitness. We back in the building. Terrence is back in the house. This time, man, I'm going to come with a quick video about simple carbohydrates versus complex carbohydrates. Does it make a difference on our body structure? Um, our body composition does it really even have an effect on our body? And does our body even know the difference? Okay. Let me start off by giving you guys uh, the definition of a simple carb and a complex carb, even though I know a lot of you already know the difference. I'm going to still give you a definition, okay? A simple carbohydrate is like table sugar or fructose, which is uh, a fruit, of course, you guys know that, or you have lactose, which is a milk sugar, okay? A simple carbohydrate is, I mean, I'm sorry, a complex carbohydrate is basically like a sweet potato or a regular potato, brown rice, white rice, whatever like that, or any type of uh, wheat product, all right? That is what's considered to be a complex carbohydrate. Reason why I wanted to do this particular video is because I am an if it fits your macros kind of person. And if it fits your macros kind of people have gotten a stigma that says we're lazy, um, we don't want to be disciplined, and that's the reason why we go off and we may have Pringles, or we may have Pop-Tarts, or we may have all what they call refined carbohydrates in our diet is because we can't have the discipline or, or want to have the discipline to go eat the complex carbs. So I decided to see if the simple carbohydrates and the complex carbohydrates, do they really have a difference on our body? In other words, do our body really recognize or know the difference between the two? So I started doing some research. I researched the Medline Plus Medical Encyclopedia, okay? Come to find out, they did a study, okay, uh, on this particular topic. They took 390 people, all right, and separated them down the middle, and they gave one a simple carbohydrate uh, diet, and they gave the other one a complex carbohydrate diet, okay? What they found out is that the simple carbohydrates and the complex carbohydrates had no significant change in body composition whatsoever. Now, for you individuals that don't know how the medical term is broken down, simple carbohydrate means it has one or two molecules, and a complex carbohydrate means it has three molecules. That's how the medical uh, term is broken down because that's how they distinguish the two. So you got two for simple and you got three uh, molecules for complex carbohydrates. Okay, so how does that affect me and you? Basically what it means is, is you can take some Pringles potato chips and some Pop-Tarts and you can add those up to your macronutrient ratios and it doesn't make a difference whether or not you use that or whether or not you use potatoes and rice and, and add it up to your macronutrient ratios because the body is still going to recognize it as a carbohydrate. That's all it's going to do. It's not going to recognize it as a simple or a complex. Now, you're going to have somebody that tell you it's better to get the complex carbohydrates because they're slow digesting. They digest faster in your uh, slower in your body, which gives you, what do they say, a long lasting energy source. OK, that's what they say. But realistically, the body doesn't even work like that. It doesn't work like that. OK, so as I'm reading this and I'm understanding all of these uh, particular studies that have been shown, I was like, OK, so what they're saying is it, it doesn't have an effect on my body. But what about the glycemic index. Let me take it further. And the reason I wanted to test out the glycemic index to find out if it was going to be a different outcome for this was because when you eat like higher glycemic foods, it's supposed to spike your insulin. OK, and when you eat lower glycemic foods, it's supposed to keep your insulin either steady, you know, and it doesn't make a spike. You know what I mean? Um, and so I said, well, let me research that. So as I'm researching this, I found out that if you did a study with the same amount of people, three, there's, there's 390 people and you broke them down the middle, come to find out the only change that would happen in one group versus the other group is their LDL levels, okay? The cholesterol, the LDL level cholesterol would be lowered if they eat lower glycemic 
uh, carbohydrates versus eating high glycemic carbohydrates. But it does not have any change on whether or not you're going to gain weight, you know what I'm saying, or whether or not you're going to lose weight or whether or not you're going to, you know what I'm saying, get fatter or, or leaner. It doesn't have any effect. OK, N none whatsoever. As a matter of fact, it didn't even change blood lipids. OK, the carbohydrates didn't even change blood lipids. Now, for all of you out there that want to know what the glycemic index was created for, that's why it was created for diabetics. OK, now I will tell you this. The studies also went even further to say for a healthy person, let's consider you a healthy person. What is considered to be a healthy person in this in these terms means a person that's not obese, does not have high cholesterol. OK, you're you're basically uh, what they call a healthy person. You exercise every day. Um, you're very active. And again, like I said, you don't have diabetes. You don't have uh, you're not obese. OK. Basically, the study is saying that you would have no change. In other words, if you're eating healthy, you know, and you continue to do this, you're not getting healthier. You're staying the same. OK. If you're unhealthy, the only thing that is going to do by you changing your uh, carbohydrates as far as the glycemic index is concerned, is it's going to lower your cholesterol. But it's not going to change the fact that you have a high body fat percentage. If you guys can understand what I'm saying by this. So in taking this into consideration, understand at the end of the day, if you're counting your macronutrients, if you're counting your numbers, OK, even if you're bulking, it doesn't change it. OK, it doesn't change it, even if you're bulking. All right. Make sure that your numbers at the end of the day add up for whatever you're trying to reach. If you can eat 350 grams of carbs and cut on that or 400 grams of carbs and cut on that. Good. If you're somebody that you say, hey, I've been eating, uh, you know, 200 grams of carbs and I've been bulking on that. Good. If you say you've been eating uh, 200 grams of carbs and you've been cutting on that, then good. It doesn't matter what kind of carbs you're using. It just matters that you have the carbohydrates. So at the end of the day, guys, it doesn't matter if it's simple or if it's complex. All right. Just want to put this video up in hopes that all of you guys uh, would go out and do your own research. Again, don't take my word for it. Go out and research on your own. But I'm telling you, you're going to find out the same thing. And uh, so as far as these uh, if it fits your macros, Nazis and um People, these, the, you know, if it fits your macros, gangsters that want to call us lazy and they want to try to downplay the fact that we don't want to have discipline. Please remember, it does not have an effect on our body. That's the reason why you have guys getting super stupid shredded doing if it fits your macros. And you also have guys getting stupid shredded by doing complex carbs as well as simple carbohydrates. So at the end of the day, man, it don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? As long as your numbers match up. All right. Night Rider Fitness.